I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip this, what? tell him run it up, no sleep, might crash, might wreck, but first die, stretch, tell him run it up. What's good, family? Peace, love, and ascension, man. This is Dudley Does with Dudley Dut Dut Com. What's good, man? I'm sorry about that. What's good? So, in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a one-year review on the Lawnmower 3.0. So, you might have seen my previous Lawnmower 3.0 video that I uploaded, probably a little less than a year ago, probably like 10, 11 months ago, that hit about a quarter million views. I got a lot of comments, a lot of engagement, and uh, questions and DMs about this project right here. So I wanted to sit with this product for a year and then give you guys my second opinion on how the product has held up and things of that nature. So I'm gonna be answering a couple of you guys' questions today, man, all right? So first thing I wanna say, man, is that I seen comments of people saying that uh, the video wasn't an honest review and that they have cut themselves and all that stuff. So I'm gonna address all of that in this video. So first things first, I did not get paid for that video. So that was a very, <laughs> trust me, that was a very honest uh, video that I did. And also every video that I do on my channel is 100% transparent. And so that's why a lot of brands don't even feel comfortable working with me because I give my honest opinion. So when I told you guys that I genuinely liked the product, it's a year later and I'm still using this product every single week. Now I did read a comment of somebody saying that I'm lying because they bought this and then when they started shaving with the first glide, they cut a chunk of flesh of their ball sack out from shaving. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? My thing is like this. I've never, I've never cut my sack using this. And unless you're literally like I'm this, lying. unless you're like this, you shouldn't be cutting out a chunk of your ball sack. There's something wrong with you. Me personally, when I'm shaving, my balls i use the guard now there are times you feel me when i'm feeling a little risky i might cut without the guard you feel me but i'm type nice i'm type nice with the you know i'm type nice with the cutage so i personally use the guard you know um and i don't have any issues now i'm not gonna lie this may be a little tmi but i got a media sack you feel me? My sack is a little bit meatier than average. Nothing happens to me. Now, personally, if I'm shaving my chest or my stomach with this, I don't have the guard on. As I said in the previous video, this does have a groove along it that kind of helps you glide through. Um, and so for me, I really like what Manscaped is doing. They also have other products like ball toner, ball deodorant engines, all these other little funny products that you can use to keep your manhood looking and smelling good, you feel me? You cut your balls, you put some nutsack glaze on it, and you, you on your way! You on your way! This is already a subject that, for some reason, a lot of people don't feel comfortable talking about it. I'm here to tell you the tea, all right? So, a year later, how, how has the lawnmower 3.0 held up in terms of durability? And again, you might see some ball hairs in my lawnmower 3.0, and I'm on camera with it. What you gonna do? I use this about every week. Personally, my shaving sessions aren't longer than five minutes. So I'm actually surprised at how little I've had to charge this. I probably have to put this on the charger every month and a half to two months. I go in the shower. I've been getting this thing wet all year long. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's it's been, it's been holding up pretty good. I don't see any signs of wear and tear which is good because that means that this isn't just some cheap uh, piece of plastic. This actually holds up well. This is waterproof and so I use this in the shower. I get the job done and then I don't really look at it for another week and a half. Some of you have asked me questions about is it a good beard shaver. Whenever I'm not near my barber for extended periods of time, as you guys know, uh, during the timing of me filming this, it's 2020. Y'all know what happened this year. COVID was going crazy. People didn't have barbers. Dudes couldn't make games at the gym. All, all types of crazy stuff, right? So I would personally use this to trim up my beard. I am the person that said, you know, that admitted in front of 250,000 people that I use my ball trimmer to trim my beard. Now that's my prerogative, right? But I do use this to supplement my barber whenever I can't get next to him, right? 
Anyway, so I do use this to trim up my beard. Sometimes I'll take off the guard and I'll line up my hairline if, if I know I won't be able to have access to a barber for a long time. I line up my mustache, all the above, um, shave my neck, everything is fine. I do believe that you can use this to trim up your beard as well as your, you know what I'm saying, balls or stomach or whatever you personally want to do. So I recommend using the guard when you are shaving your balls. Now sometimes I do um, take off the guard, but like I said, not, not to toot my own horn, I am tight nice with the, you know what I'm saying, with the gliders, you feel me? I'm a little nice with it, so I know how to hold the sack and you know what I'm saying? I know how to do that. You might not be that, that skill, so you might, you know what I mean? But for the most part, just based off of what I've seen, what I've experienced this year with this product, it's held up well, and I'm gonna continue to use it because I actually, I actually stand by it because I actually use it. And I think it's a good product, man. I would honestly say, go for it, try it out, see if you like it. I like what Manscaped is doing personally. And that's why I decided to make that video back then because they're funny. <laughs> Like they're they're funny to me and I like that it's very refreshing and when you're funny and you provide an actual good product that lasts I think that's a win-win man so I wanted to make this video to answer some of you guys' questions how this product has held up a year later durability wise it's held up fine no signs of wear and tear I use this thing on my balls and on my stomach um, every week and a half or so. The charging is great, phenomenal. As I said before, it's got a light on it. So if you, you know what I'm saying? Like if you camping somewhere and you want to shave in the dark, which I don't recommend, but you can shave that, whew, you can shave that boy in the dark, put some nut glaze, ball tone on that joint, and you're on your way, you feel me? Um, and so I use this for my beard sometimes. I use it for my hairline, which is looking a little rough right now, chill. And everything is straight. So again, man, this is my honest review of the Lawnmower 3.0 one year later. Should you get it, I'm gonna leave that up to you. Uh, go check them out. I'm sure that they're having some type of a sale. They usually are, man. And you be the judge of if this bad boy is worth shaving your, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're a little man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Peace, family. I love you guys, man. Make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know, have you tried this product? What is your honest um, thoughts? What are your honest opinions? I think it's personally a good product. And so this is why I continue to um, use them, endorse them. And that's really it, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and ascension, man. I'm out. My baby, I like you. My baby, I die for you.